hot dog is over. That's why he's the qualifying. Over what, Jeff? Overdone? Over under? I don't know what you're talking about. Steve Kipke has done nothing, Jeff, but win. Who, who's hot dog beating, Jeff? Tell me. Who's hot dog beating that's gotten him over? Steve Kipke has come in every single time, giving his best effort as the gong starts this matchup and has proven himself each time. Hey, you might not like the way he's done it, but you know what? That's you. Because you know what? He's a doer, and Jeff, you're a whiner. And that's how things get done. He gets things done because he's a doer. But now the competition stepped itself up. Suicide is not someone to take lightly. And now Gippy's gotten his wish. Hopefully he doesn't regret it. Well, Trent, he's kind of whined his way into this matchup with Suicide. Let's see if he uh, doesn't bite off more than he can chew here against Suicide. Well, he must have heard you on commentary, and that's why he's whining, because he's learned it from you, Jeff. Come on, let's be honest here. We wish we were the Jersey Muscle Jock. And you know what? He's got a chance now to prove all the naysayers, including yourself, Jeff, wrong. So once this is over, I'm sure you'll be able to bite your tongue and give credit where credit is due. I might, Trent Setter, I might. But now we, he's got to prove it. All the posturing now is over. He's got to beat Suicide 1, 2, 3 in the middle of the ring. And then maybe I'll have him. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll respect uh, the Jersey Muscle Jock. But how exciting is it, Jeff? To ha well, we're never going to agree on that. But how exciting is it to have Suicide here at Pro Wrestling Magic? First time here for Suicide. Fans are excited to see him here. I mean, we've seen him traveling all around the world. And you know what? It's pretty amazing that the crowd here at the Kingdom has a chance to see Suicide in person. The early start now, Gibke has got the arm, and Suicide's trying to fight out of it. That's Suicide all over the world, and he's here in Richfield Park, New Jersey, here tonight. Nothing to lose. Jersey Muscle Jock conversing the hold. Hasn't been a headlock, but now Suicide returns. Take a pin and a one count. Here's another early one count. Sweeps the leg. Here's an early one count. Both with a kip up. Impressive trendsetter. It goes without saying, Jeff. Both know how to quote unquote wrestle. It's about kind of finding out who they are, scouting each other as Suicide now tries to show good sportsmanship here. I don't know if this is more of a psychological play. He is the veteran in this match. Both have mutual respect, but it doesn't last very long as Gibbsy now takes advantage. Suicide, it's kind of surprising a veteran in this business turned his head away from Steve Gibke. Yes, Gibke. Again, you can't trust him. We saw what he did to former tag team partners, but now he's got the advantage now. And he just won't let that go, will Whips him Jeff? into the corner. Suicide. He's able to duck it. There's the backflip. The backflip. Missed with the clothesline. Gipke as comes in. Spinning her Karana. Here's the count and the cover. One, two. Kick out by Gipke. It's just amazing watching Suicide in the ring, Jeff. So crisp, so sharp. Like I said, the level of competition has definitely stepped up for Steve Gipke. But you know, he's got the tools, Jeff. Despite what you think about him, he's got the physical tools to be one of the best here at Pro Wrestling Magic. Yeah, suicide takes the leg out on the outside of the ring now in a ooh, kick to the chest. Suicide feeding off the crowd here at Pro Wrestling Magic, the kingdom. A little around the world, Jeff. Looks like he's about to uh, deliver a uh, little Double kick, double drop kick on the ring apron, knocking Gipke to the ground. Get your camera shots, folks, because uh, Suicide's posing for you fans. The referee's counting at two. Got to get him back in there. All right, Trent Center, this is a huge step up for Gipke in competition. Of course, I've made that perfectly clear about three times, Jeff. But like I said, I think he has the physical tools to get it done because he's a doer. But Suicide, my goodness, the, the, the amount of, of rings, ringsmanship he has. It doesn't even work. Oh, drop kick. Suicide to try to go off the top rope. Here's a cover. One, two, and kick out. Now is Gipke stomp, stomping him into the corner. Several boots now to the chest, just stomping away. At suicide and uh, the referee the is trying to break it up. Jeff. Look at the viciousness in those kicks. Gipke has something to prove. Not to these people here in the king. He has something to prove to himself that he deserves to be in the spotlight. And a victory over suicide can most likely kind of maybe elevate him to those maybe main event type style matches that he wants. He wants to close the show. He wants to end the card for a title.
John Center, what makes Gibke so different? There's tons of people back in the area who can make the same that Gibke has that they're maybe looked over. Why does Gibke come out here and get a chance to whine about it and then get a, a competitor like Suicide as his opponent? Jeff, many people whine about it. You know that better than anybody, but you know what? Most people don't have the tools. What I mean the tools is being strong mentally, although you complain about him whining the things he does outside the ring, but also the tools physically. He has all those combined. He just has to piece it together. Yeah, Gibke got that knee to the back after a, uh, a close cover and only for a two, but now Suicide fighting out of it. Gibke Ooh. blocking with a little maybe punch to the neck there. Shot to the throat. Got the roll up. Suicide with another leg. Kick. kick. Left kick to the face, Jeff. Well, Steve Gibke, he's just kind of dazed right now. Suicide has the advantage, but stopped immediately with an elbow to the Here's face. Here's cover. One, two. A kick out by Suicide. If you're keeping here right now, you can't be paying attention to the referee. You have to stay focused. Stay on top of your opponent. Stay concentrating on one thing. That is Suicide right now, because he is a formidable foe. And a victory over him would be huge. Another punch to the face. He's rocking here, Suicide. And now choking him with the rope, with the top rope. The referee counting. Slings him back. Head meets the canvas, and uh, Suicide's in the daze right now. And there's a mistake Gibke's doing, man. He's looking to the crowd. Instead of just continuing to pounce on Suicide, could be a mistake if he can't capitalize. And there you go, Suicide now with a forearm shot after a punch to the stomach. One, two, a cover. Kick out by Suicide. You're almost after a... Uh, Modified belly-to-belly -belly suplex there. Which if you like to talk about the mistakes that Gipke's making right now, let's look, look at the mistakes maybe that Suicide's making. Could it be maybe a mistake that he's came into this match thinking that maybe Steve Gipke was going to be a walkover? It's going to be a walk in the park for him? Yeah, pushover maybe. We'll find out and now launches himself back up. Her Karana right to the corner. The roundhouse kick. But can't capitalize. Suicide's still trying to get it to his feet right now. Trying to get the crowd into this right now to give him some extra energy, some extra momentum, some extra motivation. Gicky now is first back up to his feet. Suicide breaks out, a couple punches to the chest. Steve Gibke misses. More slaps and punches to the chest. Suicide continue to work on Gibke. Gibke might have had enough. Holds on between the ropes. Gibke goes on to the outside, head first. Now what's Suicide going to do? Launching himself to the outside, throwing caution to the wind. Referee at five, and he brings back Gibke in. Looking to finish him off right here, Trendsetter. Ooh, atomic drop, landing right on his tailbone. Double drop kick to Gibke, he's the cover. cover. One, two. For a second there, I thought there was an echo in the building. Thank you so much for that, Jeff. You're welcome, Chen Said. Only Still, a two gotta have your back. for suicide. Maybe suicide right now, Jeff, showing a little frustration that, you know, maybe this uh, maybe pushover they thought was going to happen in the ring, Steve Gipke, is not as easy as he thought was to put away. Gipke reversed it, going for a headlock, spinning, elbow to the face, back suplex, vertical suplex, two. Kick out by suicide, and Gipke is in disbelief. A little temper tantrum there that it wasn't a three. Yeah, both men have given their best shot right now, and no one seems to have the advantage. Keeps going back and forth. First it's Suicide, then it's Gipke. Suicide and Gipke is now Gipke puts Suicide on the top rope. Setting for what might be maybe a, a back suplex from the top rope as he's setting up Suicide, who's in a daze right now. Gipke holding on to the head. Looks like he's setting up for the suplex. Can Suicide avoid it as he's... Punching the rib cage, trying to get Gipke off the ropes. Elbows to the back of the head. 
Shot to the face, Gipke's off on the ring floor. Suicide cross, body. Just a two count, Jeff. Suicide is throwing every offensive maneuver right now and he still has not been able to get Gipke. So give Gipke credit right now, he has been. Are you actually giving Gipke credit right now, A little now, bit trendsetter. Misses a splash, now Gipke now back. German suplex. Can he capitalize? Double Running knees to the face. Close line, here's the cover. One, two, and a kick out by Suicide. Again, he is in disbelief, Trendsetter. As I think you are as well, giving credit where credit is due. Steve Gipke in the ring with a high caliber athlete like Suicide ran and holding his own. Showing a little frustration, of course, what anybody would right now, thinking they've thrown their best at Suicide, and Suicide's still standing as he's in the corner. Boot to the face as Gipke tried to charge him in the corner. Going for a roll up, small package. And Suicide gets the win.